Hello everyone, if you are trying to save a portion of your income for short term and long term financial goals, then you know how important it is to learn creating a personal monthly budget in Excel. A personal monthly budget helps you to control basic living expenses such as rents, mortgage payments, utilities, transportations, debt repayment, healthcare and insurance. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi. And today we'll learn how to create a personal monthly budget in Excel. So the first question occurs, what is a personal monthly budget? A personal monthly budget is nothing more than a financial plan that features the income and expenses of an individual over a month. The individual tries to consider all the possible sources of income and expenses throughout the whole month in the budget. It helps a person to manage his finances in the best possible way to overcome and save for the future. In this video, we want to show two methods to make personal monthly budget in Excel and to describe the whole tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to create personal monthly budget manually. And to do that, at first, we have the budget period in the C4 cell and the expenses and incomes in the below cell. Like we have the income, necessary expenses, occasional expenses, regular repayment, credit card, loan payment, insurance payment, and other expenses in column B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. In our first step, we want to get the name of the month as we are trying to get the budget for the July. So we'll write down July 2023. So here we have July and then we'll write down 2023. Now we'll press the enter button to get the perfect budget period here. After that, we'll move on and classify our income expenses source. Here we have the income source at first. In this case, we'll write down the sources of income like the salary, then we have the dividend fund, and next we have pension, then we have interest, and then we have other income sources. So that's the income sources hour. Next, we want to get the expenses also so we'll write down the expenses after writing down the expenses similar to the income it will look like this so that's how we have got the income and expenses sources classification in this case we'll use these classifications for our next step where we'll input projected and outcome sources in this case of the personal monthly budget section Now we have taken a new worksheet called personal monthly budget and in this new worksheet we want to input projected and actual income and outcome source like here we have the income sources and here we have the projected income actual income and also get the difference at first we'll go for the c7 cell and insert the 4500 as salary of projected income then we have dividend fund which is 1000 and next we have 500 500 so that's how we have got the projected income so at first we'll go for the d7 cell and insert 4500 as the actual income next we have 1020 as our actual income of dividend fund then we have 620 from the benefit or pension and next we have 250 and at the end of the day, we have 450 as the other income sources. Now we can see that there is a clear difference between the actual and projected income. So we want to get the difference also in the column E. So we'll go for the E7 cell and insert the D7 minus C7 formula here and press the enter button. After that, we'll drag down the formula to get the result for every cell from E7 to E11. So we've got the difference between the projected and actual income. Next, we want to also 
get the subtotal for projected income and actual income. To do that, we'll go for the C12 cell and insert the sum function. The sum function adds all the numbers in a range of cells. Now, we want to get the sum of C7 to C11. Press the enter button to get the result here. Now, you need to select the value and drag it down from left to right to get the same value for actual income source. Now, we have got the subtotal for projected income and actual income, but we also need to get the difference from them. So we'll go for the E12 cell and insert the D12 minus C12 and press the enter button to get the difference between the sum of projected and actual income. So that's how you have got the proper comparison between the projected and actual income in this worksheet. You can do the same for the expenses also. After doing the same thing for every expenses, the whole worksheet will look like this. Here, if you drag down the list, then you'll see Then in every cases, you have got the projected expense, actual expense, difference, and the subtotals and their difference. So that's how we have got the comparison between the projected and actual expenses in case of both income and expenses. Now, we have taken another new worksheet where we want to summarize personal monthly budget. And to get the summary, at first we have the income expense balance in the C6, D6 and E6 cell. And in the left side, we have projected actual and differences in B7 to B9 cell. So, at first we want to get the projected values. So, we'll go for the C7 cell and press the equal sign and go for the personal monthly budget worksheet and here we want to use the reference of the projected income source of C12. So select the C12 here and press the enter button. So we've got the projected income source. Next we have the projected expenses in the D7 cell. So again press the equal sign and now we'll move for the personal monthly budget worksheet and now we want to take the projected cells of the expenses. The first expenses is in the C22 cell. So select it then press the plus sign and move on to next projected expense which is in the C33. Again go for the plus sign and move on to the next expense which is in the C45. Then again press the plus sign and now Move on to the next expense of the credit card loan which is in the C54. Again go for the plus sign and here we have next expense of insurance payment which is in the C61. Again go for the plus sign and now select the value of other expenses of projected expense in the C67. Now press the enter button to get the perfect result here. Now we'll go for the C8 cell and press the equal sign and again go for the personal monthly budget worksheet and here we'll select the expenses of actual income which is in the D12 cell. Now press the enter button to get the perfect result here. Now you want to do the same for the D8 cell. Then press the equal sign and now you want to get the actual expenses from the personal monthly budget worksheet. So we'll go for and now you'll select every cell here. So at first we'll select the D22 cell as expenses of actual. Then we have got the plus sign and now we'll move on to the D33 which is the total expenses of occasional expenses then again go for the plus sign and now we'll select the d45 and after that we'll again use the plus sign and go for next expense which is d54 which is the total actual expense of credit card loan payment next we'll go for again the plus sign and now we'll use and select the d61 as our total expense of insurance payment and again plus sign and go for the D67. So after that we'll press the enter button to get the total actual expense here in the D8 cell. 
Now we also need to calculate the difference between the projected and actual budget here. So we'll go for the E7 cell and now we'll find the difference between the C7 minus the D7. So we'll press the enter button to get the result for E7 and now drag down the formula to get the same result for the E8. Now for the income and expenses of projected and actual, we need to also get the difference here in the C9 cell. So we'll go for the equal sign and now get the difference from C8 minus C7 and press the enter button to get the perfect result. Now drag down the formula from left to right to get result for every cell. So that's how we can easily create personal monthly budget in Excel manually. In our second method, we want to use the built-in template to make a personal monthly budget in Excel. To do that, we'll go for the file section and we'll select the new option where you can easily go for the search options. In the search options, you'll write down the personal monthly budget and press the enter button or the search option click. So after that, you'll get your perfect options. You'll select the personal monthly budget spreadsheet and after that you'll have this kind of worksheet and select create after that you'll have a perfect personal monthly budget template here you can easily change add or remove cells based on your income or expenses so that's how you can easily go for the built-in template to make a personal budget in excel so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excel.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this